The peace of God be unto you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What is Brotherhood of the Cross and Star? Everlasting Gospel, Everlasting Gospel delivered to the world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. Quote, Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is neither a church, nor a religion, nor a cult, nor a society of any kind. It is the kingdom of God. In the gospel below, the meaning of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is going to be revealed to you. To enhance your understanding, the explanation is divided into three sections. Section 1. What is Brotherhood? First lesson, St. John chapter 20, verse 17. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father and to my God and your God. Second lesson, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 4 to 6. There is one body and one spirit. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Golden text, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the King. From the text above, it is clear that brotherhood means God and everything created by Him. It means the unity of all creations with themselves and with God. This implies that God and all his creations, whether visible or invisible, constitute one entity. The founder of brotherhood is God himself. Since God is without origin and timeless, brotherhood has no origin. You are not brotherhood by choice, but by virtue of being created by God. Since by the word God created the world, brotherhood means the word of God. This word through which all things were made is our Lord Jesus Christ. God owns, rules, and leads brotherhood and our Lord Jesus Christ is given charge. All else, be it angels, men, stars, animals, birds, fishes, wind, etc. are workers and brethren. The operating principles in brotherhood are the manifestation of the spirit of its founder and owner. These are love, truth, mercy, patience, goodness, meekness, righteousness, and all other virtues, outside which is contrary to the spirit and is contrary to the spirit of its founder and an act of rebellion. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, chaos and division set into brotherhood, and each creature stood apart from others and from God. With the shedding of a pure, blameless blood, our Lord Jesus Christ atoned for the sins of all men, thereby paving the way for brotherhood to reunite. Ordinarily, we need other creatures and men for survival. We cannot live in isolation. All creatures complement each other in a continuous circle of reciprocity. The plants need water for survival, while animals and human beings need plants to survive. These plants thrive on the soil content or earth, out of which man was created, and part of man is water, which is also a soil content, and the breath of God gives life or existence to all things making them living soul. That life force is the Spirit. It is clear that because the Spirit of God abides in all creatures, God is and is in every creature. We are all part of the same Spirit, having one God and Father, not different from the trees or any other creature. It behoves on us to honor all men, reverence God and respect authority. Brotherhood was, is, and shall ever be. God cannot be pluralized. Churches, religions, and various beliefs must abhor division and succumb to oneness of creation as one flock under one shepherd. Those who have ears, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. Section 2. What is cross? 
first lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 12. And labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Second lesson, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 10. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Golden text. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. Our Lord Jesus Christ declared, Anybody who wants to follow me, but is unwilling to take up the cross after me, cannot be my follower. Cross here symbolizes pain, suffering, self-denial and death for the sake of others. To be Christ's follower requires walking in his footsteps by carrying the cross. It has nothing to do with crucifix. Carrying the cross obviously spans from healing the sick, praying for people, free will offering or giving alms, to bearing one another's burden without, with joy, without complaining. Standing firm at trials and persecution, tolerating all kinds of sinners, not avenging any wrongdoings, and counting others better than yourself. You must be loving, humble, kind, and meek towards all. Prevent neither a trickster, nor thief, nor the wicked, nor any sinners from their ploys, even when you are affected. If you rejoice in tribulation and humiliation, begrudge not when abused but continually render necessary or demanded help even to those who seek your downfall or death, you are carrying the cross. As a cross bearer, you must always prepare for the worst, all for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. You do not have to, be, you do not have to get annoyed. Through a determined and consistent effort, the power of life in you will overcome their ways and they will have life. Bless and pray God to forgive those who accuse you falsely, assassinate your character, or hate you with or without cause. Apologize even to those who offend against you. Smile in the face of persecution and false accusations, and hold on to goodness amid strong temptation and destruction. This is carrying the cross. Carrying the cross does not imply provocation, argument, self-defense, or preventing disgrace and false allegations. It requires complete resignation to God and counting your life as a loss. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not defend himself before Pilate. As God, he knew aforehand that Judas Iscariot would misuse the command purse and eventually betray him. But he did not prevent Judas. He allowed himself to be tormented so that man would gain salvation. To make the cross lighter, do not claim righteousness or try to look for life on one hand while on the other hand you are claiming to lose it. Preaching alone does not change a man to God. Carrying the cross is the shortest means of converting a soul. If we put up with one another's evil ways, we will not look back while carrying the cross. Put on the life of our Lord Jesus Christ and the light of God that manifests from carrying the cross will overpower the darkness of sin, giving salvation and peace to all men. Those who have ears, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. Section 3. What is star? First lesson, Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that he which have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Second lesson, Revelation chapter 19, verse 16. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. Golden text, Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 to 10. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. Stars in brotherhood of the cross and star 
represents the reign and glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The wise men saw the star, Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. He told John the divine he was the star, Revelation chapter 22, verse 16, and promised that they who keep his word and successfully carry the cross would reign with him. Revelation chapter 2, verses 26 to 28. Whereas cross represents the earthly suffering arising from bearing one another's burden, star is the heavenly glory attainable after the cross. This explains why our Lord Jesus Christ chose to suffer on earth and be crucified. He obtained his glory after carrying the cross. And John chapter 17 verse 5. They who take up the cross and follow him shall reign with him. Star is our ultimate goal where we shall reign as kings and lords and our Lord Jesus Christ as the King of kings and Lord of lords. The radiation from star cast away all darkness. The reign of our Lord Jesus Christ admits no oppression, cheating, discrimination or secular inclinations. It is completely devoid of any sins, suffering, pains or death. It is a state of righteousness, eternal happiness, peace and joy. The prayer, Thy kingdom come, means the reign of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is eternal. At his name, every knee shall bow, and every tongue will confess him. His kingdom signals the end of worldly kingdoms and the problem-free milieu. It is the emergence of a new heaven and a new earth, wherein righteousness alone dwells in all facets of life. It is the new world order. It is the reign of God, from God, by God, and for God, where all creatures are under His subjection, obedient to Him, and in complete harmony. God is one and is indivisible. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The three do not mean different things. Brotherhood means God. Cross means God. And star means God. God himself is reigning in brotherhood of the cross and star. Those who have ears, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Father.